guys have clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall I not much more clothe ye, you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father know that you have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. No, so look, we, we got we got we got faith, okay? And your house child is gonna provide everything we need. Alright? So we ain't gonna fear. Exactly. That's why that's why these doomsday preppers, I mean they're mostly they're all fucking all eaten by anyway, but they are stocking up, stockpiling their food and everything like that, but it's not gonna save them, alright? Because we're we're seeking out the kingdom first, right? Yeah, well um, I mean that that applies to Jake too, because I remember when we first came out of here. When we're talking about the destruction. Yeah, like, I believe. I, I believe you know. this, yeah, I believe this dude had it. He was an Ephraimite, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he said that's okay because I got my AK and put his his hand up like this, walking up all confident. That nigga's gonna die, man. You got ammunition for that AK? No. It's a problem with those months. They, 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 that's a you know. And if you have any red, if, if anybody got any registered guns, you're a direct target. So you can forget about that. Oh, and all these crackers talking about all the ammunition. Those are registered guns, man. So they know who they know. Okay, this guy got this many weapons and this many bullets. They're gonna come right for you, man. Yeah. You can get robbed too. They can come, come out and steal your shit. Don't you know there's that there's an agenda to take your damn guns away? That's why they're blowing out of proportion all these damn bullshit shootings, man. They're doing all these false flags. Well, well, during the uh, last the, some, some, some people saying uh, uh, Gabrielle Gifford, some people saying that she didn't, didn't even make a shot. I don't even know if it's true. The senator or... Uh, yeah, I don't think, yeah. I, yeah, I was hearing that some people saying that she didn't, didn't even get shot. They were trying to pass legislation. See, there you go, I man. I heard that a couple days ago. So yeah, because you know, that, that could be true. Yeah, because yeah, that's true. Think about it, man. They, they basically saying, oh, well, your government officials aren't safe, so that's the reason to take all your guns from yeah. Well, hey, you got that movie, uh, Brandon. It only came out in, it was a Russian movie, but it, it came out in uh, an English yeah, copy for like a week in the theater, where they show you that you, they pretty much, they, they can manipulate how they want some the outcome. They, they branded people into believing that being fat is the way to go. So when this part, this girl was getting liposuction, and they made her liposuction process go wrong, and made her go, go into a coma and see, look at, look at, you need, we need to be fat. And they had the news on it and everything. That's that's how Esau worked. Are right, he showing all these things? And a lot of it's all bullshit. These gun legislations, all these gun, um, like so-called gun shootings and like that, and bombings. It's all false flags. Yeah, it's all false flags. And then they had the media infiltrate it and, and all that. But um. They're, they're, they're in the Massachusetts uh, bombing, or whatever the, the bombing, and they were. Um, they had that little town in lockdown. I know some guy, his family lived in that little town, and they were saying that they were just ripping people's homes in, all right, and, and confiscating things. So when a couple of. You, you should see, and, and you can see video footage of them troops, the troops aren't your average police, they're the martial law troops. So when they come in and bust your house down, bust your uh, door down with them a AR 15s and their machine guns, you ain't gonna shoot back. You're gonna have enough, a lot of you are gonna have enough sense to just give up your guns. So you let off a couple shots, but they ain't gonna stop you from them, them keep killing your ass and still confiscating your guns. That's why they scared, that's why the so called white man is scared of veterans. They'll fucking shoot in a damn second, you know? They used to have a gunfire cast to their head and, you know, dodge the bullets and everything, you know? The veterans are gonna, they're gonna fight back. But they know they're too much to kill them, you know? Second was uh, 2 verse 26. As for my servants, whom I have, whom I have, damn, whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, mm -hmm. for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, over shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and, and have abundance. Wow. So the Lord will take care of the elect, okay? According to the scriptures. This is our our stability. Okay? The knowledge that, that, that we have, okay? Like Yahweh Bashan is going to take care of your way. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret places of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Yeah, the secret place is what? Understanding the scriptures, okay? We got we have the knowledge, the breakdown of the scriptures. We know, we know what the truth is. That's the secret, the secret place, but. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. Yeah, that, that, this is our defense, okay? You go into a fortress uh, to flee from the enemy, all right? What? In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee 
from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid from the terror by night, nor from the arrow that flieth by day. Yeah, arrow is the missiles, okay? The missiles that's gonna destroy Babylon, which is America, gonna turn America into a uh, lake of fire. All right, you like the arrow again? Verse five, thou shalt not be afraid from the terror by night, nor from the arrow that flieth by day, nor from the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor from the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and 10,000 at thy right hand. It's two thirds of the nations that are gonna be burnt up here in America. But it shall not come nigh thee, but the elect are gonna be, are gonna be delivered, okay? The elect are going to be called up into heaven. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Yeah, when we look down and see America on fire, Babylon on fire. Because thou hast made the Lord, which, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. What's the elect going up? Going up and being delivered. Going up and going up into the chariot of Israel. What? This is uh, Revelations 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Yeah, the partakers and the sins is what? The, the, the fire, okay? What the sins is all the acts that you, that you did against the heavenly Father, okay? And the judgment is the, 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 the lake of fire that the elect are going to be looking down on. For her sins have reached on the heaven, and the most high, most high has remembered her iniquities. Huh. So there is a reward, okay, for the wicked. And that's the lake of fire. Verse 13, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, as Esau. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Because he hath known my name. Okay, I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Okay? So I will, that's telling you that that's going to be a point because people weren't, weren't going to know the name. They weren't going to be teaching the name. Okay? They weren't going to be teaching the things that go along with this name. Okay? Like establishing the law through faith. Okay? In order, knowing that we're under grace. Okay? What? Verse 15. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. And I will be with him in trouble. So the time of Jacob's trouble, Yahweh Bashim is going to be with us. Okay? His angels are going to camp about us. Keep us safe. Right. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I set to you? Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Read that last part again. Last two verses. Verse, verse 15. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. He shall call upon me. Okay? So how are we gonna call upon the Lord? We're gonna use his name. How about Shimmy Yahweh Shah? Oh, we're going to simply say Yahweh Shai. I will be with him in trouble. So when we call upon his name, 